The environment division is used to describe the environment in which the program works. It isolates in one place all aspects of the program that are dependent on items in the environment in which the program runs. The idea is to make it easy to change the program when it has to run on a different computer or one with different peripheral devices or when the program is being used in a different country. The environment division consists of two sections, the configuration section and the input output section. In the configuration section, the special names paragraph allow you to specify such environment details as what alphabet to use, what currency symbol to use, and what decimal point symbol to use. Basically, configuration section tells about the hardware where the program needs to compile or needs to run. All entries in this section should code from area A, that is column 8 to 11. Three main paragraphs of configuration section are source computer, object computer, and special names. In source computer, we tell the type of computer on which the program is being compiled. In object computer paragraph, we tell the type of computer on which the program is designed to run. The third paragraph is special names, which contain numerous clauses. Useful clauses, decimal point is comma. In some countries, the meaning of decimal point and comma are reversed. The decimal point is comma clause specify that the program conforms to this scheme. Here is a small sample of program code. The first two lines are part of the identification division and the rest six lines are part of the environment division. In identification division, we have just mentioned the program name using the program ID paragraph. In the environment division, we have used configuration section under it. Under configuration section, we have used source computer paragraph, object computer paragraph, and in both the paragraph, we have used the computer name as IBM hyphen PC and ended it with a period. We have also used decimal point is comma clause under the special name paragraph which means that our program is written for a country or a market which is using comma as a decimal point. Apart from decimal point is comma clause, the other clause which you may see is symbolic character clause. This clause let you assign a name to an unprintable characters like escape, carriage return or light feed characters. Second section of environment division is input output section. This section contain two paragraphs file control paragraph and IO control paragraph. In file control paragraph, you will describe the use of data files in your program. Whereas in IO control paragraph, you will describe the behavior and internal handling of some of the input and output with the associated files. IO control paragraph is not used often. Here is a sample code using input output section. The first six line of the code is already discussed with Seventh line denotes the start of input output section. Under input output section, file control paragraph is used. Under file control paragraph, select assign clause is used. In this clause, we will assign the actual file name with the file name in the COBOL program. In this example, the actual file name in.dat is assigned to file name input hyphen file which we will use in the COBOL program. After select assign clause, the actual file will be referred using input hyphen file name in the program. We will learn more about the select assign clause in our fine handling lessons. As of now, this is the end of the environment division. I hope this lesson give you a fair idea about environment division and its two sections that is configuration section and input output section. Keep practicing. See you in the next lesson.